The future of the Las Vegas housing market for 2021. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. Today, I'm going to be talking about the future of the Las Vegas real estate market for 2021. The Las Vegas housing market is riding a hot streak right now of record prices and rising sales despite this bleak economy. And it's anyone's guess at how long it will take tourism to fully recover here in Las Vegas. Industry experts believe that the housing market will remain strong for 2021. Last year, many experts had predicted that the housing market in Las Vegas was going to crash just like it did in the Great Recession. There was no crash at all. Last year's real estate was on fire and we continue to be on fire this year. I think even more so than last year. As I mentioned before, my previous market update, there's only 0.6 months of housing supply right now in the Las Vegas Valley, which is well below what's even considered a normal seller's market. <laughs> it's a crazy seller's market. A month of supply is usually a good indicator of whether a real estate market is either favored for sellers or buyers. Typically, a market that favors sellers is less than six months and a market that favors buyers is over six months. So obviously with only 0.6 months of supply, we are in a very extreme seller's market right now. The housing demand is also increasing as people continue to flock to Las Vegas from what the East Coast, the West Coast. I get a lot of California buyers, Washington and Oregon, New York, Chicago. People want to flee their high tax states and also flee because of our weather. A lot of people think, well, okay, yeah, you get a lot of these buyers relocating to Vegas, but what about jobs? They don't have to rely on and normal jobs. They don't have to rely on jobs where you have to go to the office. Again, they're relying on tech companies that work online on the internet, so they don't have to rely on going to an office. Industry experts have said that this trend had accelerated during the pandemic, which it makes sense because a lot of people who are living in these high income states or high tax states can relocate here, keep their job, work from home, buy bigger homes and more affordable homes compared to where they're coming from, especially in um, Northern and Southern California. I get a lot of clients from the Bay Area, Silicon Valley, and also Southern California. They wanna relocate here because they can buy more for their money. And that's what we're seeing is um, more people relocating, wanting to get away from their states to be here in Vegas where it's more affordable, the property taxes are more affordable, we have no state income tax, so the influx of people is, is a lot. And our housing market can't support the amount of people who want to relocate here because of our lack of inventory. This is setting pace for the highest home sales in the area in the last 14 years. Home values are predicted to rise 7 to 8% in the next 12 months. It has already heated up with strong demand and shrinking supply increasing the prices even more. Houses are selling quicker than they were last year despite the pandemic's effect on the bleak economy. And one sector of the housing market that's doing extremely strong is the luxury market. Believe it or not, the luxury market is on fire. The housing market in that area continues to rise as new residents bring in millions of dollars in equity from sales of their homes in California, Washington, New York, Chicago. The Las Vegas luxury market is setting records for the values of properties sold. As demand for housing climbs and inventory becomes a premium, home values surge and will continue to do so for 2021. If the factors that fueled the surprising housing surge in Las Vegas remain the same, the market will be abuzz with activity throughout the year. So what does this all mean? In reality, if the sellers do not come out and play and we don't get any more inventory and we continue to have people wanting to relocate here to the valley, 
then our prices will continue to rise. Um, I don't see the bubble popping for 2021. It may in 2022, but my reason is, is that because of the lack of inventory and the amount of demand wanting to move here, we will be this way all year long. Now, the only kicker may be when the forbearance period ends at the end of June. However, you've got to figure, okay, if people who are on forbearance, their time's up in June, they have to start making their payments or they will be in put in the pre-foreclosure process. And usually pre-foreclosure and foreclosure process takes another six months. So we're not going to see an adjustment until 2022. Now, if I were a owner of a home and I know that the forbearance is about to end in June and I still cannot afford to make my payments, then I would just sell your home while you still have equity in it because you have a lot of equity now. Seriously, you really do. Before you go into bankruptcy or before you go into foreclosure, I think you really need to consider selling. So now if the sellers think that way and before they want to go into foreclosure, then we may see an influx of homes on the market, which is still a good thing because we cannot support the amount of people wanting to relocate here. So even if we get more inventory on the market, it may not increase in price as much, but we still have the same demand. I don't like that this market has become unaffordable, especially for local buyers here in the Las Vegas Valley. Um, so the key is, is you're really paying attention to what's gonna happen in the next few months, especially when June hits. Um, I really do hope that, you know, right now is the spring selling season. I really do hope that the sellers will get the hint and uh, put their homes on the market and sell and make a lot of money. You know, if you have nowhere to go, maybe rent for a year until the market climbs down. I know rent is kind of crazy here as well, but there are some options for you. And I understand why a lot of sellers don't want to sell is because where are they going to go? And it's the same across the board. It's not just Las Vegas that's filling this pinch. It's the same across the board because people are realizing that they don't want to stay in the same state that they're in, paying the high taxes where they can relocate, buy the same house, half the price, work from home, and save money. Even though 30% of our jobs comes from the tourism industry and the service industry, we are still seeing um, our economy starting to pick up. You know, I think unemployment's a lot lower than it was this time last year, obviously, because this time last year we were in lockdown mode. Um, but honestly, things gotta change. And if you're a seller, come on, list your home. Let's sell it. Let's make some money. Get some top dollar for your home. Homes are going on the market and within hours they're under contract. Uh, with multiple offers, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 over asking price. If you need the money and you can't make your mortgage payment, why not sell before you go into foreclosure, before you have that in your record or on your record, sell, 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 sell. Now, if we get the influx of homes, again, I don't think that's going to hurt or I don't think you're going to see a huge decrease in prices. I think it's just going to just flatten and balance just because like November, December, and January, a median price remained the same for three months. I think we're just going to even out. Hopefully we don't just keep on going up. I think we just need to balance right now, stay where we're at. Even if we do see a slight decrease, I doubt that's going to happen this year as experts have predicted a seven to 8% increase in price this year. I think last year CoreLogic said that we had a 6.7 percent increase in value from 2020. So um, I think this year is going to be a lot more increase. So seven to eight percent makes sense from what the experts are predicting. But ultimately in the end, the only way to stop this crazy market is if the sellers come out and play. Let me know in the comments what your prediction is for the Las Vegas real estate market in 2021. Um, if you're thinking about buying or selling in the Las Vegas Valley, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112 or I posted a link to a buyer and seller form down in the description below. As always, if you like this video, you know what to do, right? Hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, 
share with a friend, and smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching today, and I cannot wait to see you guys on the next one.